Hey guys, this is Rashida. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got an email from a lady named Hazel. And Hazel, thank you for sending in this email because these are good questions, uh, basically. She says she's looking into a holistic um, health program and she came across my YouTube videos. She noticed I attended IIN, which is one of the programs she is also interested in. Um, she's asking me how well do I think the program prepared me um, to take on clients after I graduated. First off, um, just in case you guys are new here, um, this is your first time on my channel. I am a health coach and I attended IIN. Um, that's the Integrative Institute for Nutrition. The Institute for Integrative Nutrition, excuse me. I attended um, that school and became a certified holistic health coach. Um, when did I go there? January 2020 to July uh, 2020. I took the accelerated six month program and um, they give you the option to either take the accelerated program or the extended like um, 12, 12 month program. The only difference is, is the information is just like, you have to go through the information fairly quickly, which I did as opposed to um, like slower at your own pace. But so initially when I started um, attending IIN, <clears throat> excuse me, well before attending there, my whole, what I wanted to do, I didn't necessarily want to be a health coach. Um, <clears throat> I was more into um, cooking plant-based um, foods and teaching people how to, excuse me, teaching people how to cook, oops, teaching people how to cook, uh, more healthy plant-based food. That was, uh, my original goal. And I thought that that school would teach more of that. Um, but they didn't. Um, and I knew that going in because I got to um, look at their curriculum. And once I uh, viewed their curriculum, I was okay with what they were offering because they offer um, a pretty detailed look into every as aspect of holistic health from massage therapy to plant-based eating clean eating we talk about basically all the diets that have ever been created we don't go into detail about that stuff but you do get a glimpse into it um we talk about relationships family um depression anxiety uh pretty much everything financial health um, life. You talk about life and how the uh, different goings on of life can affect you. I'm trying to get my thoughts together and um, you guys pardon me because I'm going to try to get through this without having to edit because editing is just such a long process. It's just nerve-wracking to me but i'm gonna try to get through it and forgive me for the bloopers that you may see so so there are modules specifically dedicated to preparing you to take on clients um while you're in school and after you graduate they do after about three months they encourage people to start seeing clients paid or unpaid it doesn't matter just so you can um get the hang of taking on clients if health coaching is something that interests you um so they don't leave you hanging also they have 
I'm on my laptop here because it's so much information that, you know, it's too much to print out. So I just wanted to read it to you um, from the website. And keep in mind, you have access to all of this information for two years after you graduate. So I still have access to all of my stuff. So we have uh, a library. It's called a reference library, a dietary theory library, and a business library. So I am in the business library. And I'm going to read to you the different... Um, modules or topics within the business library um accountability and support um and these are downloadables also uh you can download them and they're all they're like mini guides for you to um to help guide you this is not um, they're not going to give you blow by blow on how to do such and such because there's no way you can do that because they don't know what your goal is. You have to know what your goal is and use the information to your advantage um, and choose what's, you know, what, what's going to work for you and what you're trying to achieve. So first off is find support in a mastermind group. Create a mastermind group to stay on track. Reach your goals with accountability strategies. They're providing these, this, this information, um, teaching you how to work within a mastermind group um, to help you stay focused and on track. And I'm gonna say if you can create a mastermind group with someone, um, that will be really helpful because I have to admit, I try to do um, a lot of things my, by myself and it's really difficult to do all, to, to, to build a business by yourself. You're gonna want a crew. You're gonna want a small crew um, if, you can, if you can do that. Um, time management. Time management and procrastination teaches you how to focus and manage your time obviously that's something you're going to want to be doing um uh, when you have your own business it's totally different from working a nine to five you're on someone else's schedule and when you're working for yourself working for yourself is 24 7. um your nine to five is just simply that nine to five you go home you go about your business and you go back to work you know what i'm saying um so that's huge um, and there are also videos um, and lectures to go along with your downloads, your downloadable items, um, the little mini guides. Business basics and building your practice. Start thinking like a business owner. Business structure, 101 notes. Organize your business in turn contacts into clients. <clears throat> Choose your first clients wisely. They have sample emails to potential clients. And when I say sample, you can pretty much take um, anything that says sample in your library or your toolkit, which I'll get to. They allow you to basically um, just copy and paste, add um, your own wording as you need to what to do, write and say to get more clients. Visualizing the client funnel. Engage and expand your audience with social media. Um, create an online presence, the power of social media. We all know social media is like number one now, if not number two, to um, getting your business out there. A lot of people use word of mouth. Everyone does not have like um, people that they can um, introduce their business to. Um, I know I really didn't um, at first. Um, so social media was huge for me. It still is huge for me. Um, as far as their social media section though, I'm going to say this is something that they need to update simply because social media changes 
every other week, if not every week. And um, it's going to be, I'm not going to say impossible, but it's going to be fairly difficult for them to update social media, all of social media all the time um, and put it here into the business library. Um, so I have taken, I have gotten eBooks um, and studied up on uh, social media platforms, how to create ads, um, specifically Facebook um, and Instagram. TikTok um, is really great for your business. I learned TikTok on my own. It's pretty easy. Um, if you guys need like for any of this stuff, just like, um, what's this lady name? I'm sorry. Hazel, she reached out to me. She sent me an email. If you want to send me an email and you need help with setting up like social media accounts or walking you through the stuff, just, you know, give me a holler. Um, yeah, so social media they have some stuff on that how to engage in your audience some of this stuff is evergreen how to engage in your audience and building awareness that's you know that's a given so that's not necessarily something that needs to be updated um, because people are people but the social media part navigating it that should probably be more updated on their part marketing with a purpose how to love marketing excuse me, building a marketing strategy. They have templates here um, and a few videos you can watch, call to actions, newsletters and copywriting, growing your client base with your newsletters. They teach you how to write newsletters. Yes, they have samples of emails and newslet newsletters um, that you can use and edit promote products and programs. Um, they show you how to write your first ebook. Um, let me see, intro to products and programs, how to promote, how to promote your programs. They have an email template for that. Mostly promotion tips, um, target markets and working with special groups. They have a section for this. Um, your health coach website. Let me see here. They teach you how to personalize, um, create and use custom forms here, build a thriving practice, your blog, connect to social media, blah, 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 blah. They do have um, a, a great deal of information to help you out here so you're not left hanging and just like where do I even start if anything if nothing they have plenty of information on how to get you started um, your story and your vision they help you get your story out there because fact of the matter is people want to they're going to come to you because of your story um they want to and they're going to want to engage with you um because they get it you have gone through what they are currently going through maybe you know so that's how you're basically going to get your clients by sharing your story and your rates, <clears throat> they help you um, at least set your starting rates if you're new to health coaching um, and if you're going to become a health coach. That was our library and I gave you like the basics of the library. I didn't even like dig deep into each and every one of these because that would just take too long. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. I know you don't have time for that. Let's go to our business toolkit. I love the business toolkit. I clicked the wrong thing by mistake. Starting pretty early in your um, modules, I think there's 40 modules. You want to do like, 
I did a module a week. Um, starting pretty early, you're going to just dive right deep into it. And this is just, they have this listed, healthy cooking resources available at module three. Let me see here, health history resources, module 10, six month program resources, module 15. You got your business cards, health coach website, marketing materials resources, business development development and finance resources, specialty coaching, corporate clients, group coaching, coaching children, teaching classes, uh, resources. Let me go back for a second. So let's take a glimpse at some of these. The healthy cooking resources. We have vegetable cooking, baking with natural sweeteners, gluten-free cooking basics, cooking beans, health histories. So your health history resources. Let me go through this first. I get like just so, I have so much on my mind I wanna share, I forget. I'll, I'll get like disheveled. So the health history resources. You have sample emails. You're going to do, I think it was six health histories you're going to need to complete in order to um, like graduate. And you're going to use like your friends and family for these um, health histories. And this is so that you get familiar with um, speaking to clients or potential clients because you want to in most cases you're going to want to have your potential clients fill out a health history before even working with them so you know what you're dealing with what they're dealing with and if you guys are even a good match let's see They have your six month program resources. If you want to offer, if you want to offer a six month program um, for your clients, I see six month programs are pretty popular. Um, and the, that's just an option. Six month program is just an example. They really talk about six month programs a lot um, at IIN and you'll hear a lot of it through um, you know, the course, because that's kind of their main focus. Um, basically because for most, I'm not gonna say for most, I don't wanna put everybody in a box, but for a lot of people, it takes more than 30 days to get your health together, depending on what your issue is. But let's say overall, First of all, it takes, they say, it takes 21 days to change a habit. So once you change a habit, you have to, you know, work on everything else. Um, and you may have more than one habit that you need to tackle and you have to do one at a time. It takes time to um, change your health habits. So they focus more on six month programs uh, than anything else. They do mention three month programs. Um, I offer both. I offer a three month and a six month program and um, the client can choose whichever works best for them. So they <coughs> have those six month, this resource available and they break it down um, with tips. Um, everything is outlined. They have everything for you. Welcome form, your program agreement, because you're gonna have them sign an agreement before um, you guys get started. They have uh, goals, a document for goals for the customer, the client to fill out. A giveaway checklist, program schedule, credit card authorization form, program summary, um, notes, revisit form, handout checklist, the circle of life, uh, PDS, that's a download you can give to your customer, to your client, 
halfway revisit form, client progress form, testimonial request form. So was I prepared to take on clients as far as that written part is concerned? Yes. That's half of it. The other half is the mental game. I am a introvert. Introverts unite. Okay. I had a um, way more difficult time um, getting clients because of this. And I had to make the adjustment. I don't have a problem with it now, but it did take quite some time. Um, before I became a health coach, I worked in corporate for almost 19 years. I didn't have to, you know, take on clients. I had a regular nine to five, so that wasn't a thing. But if you are an introvert, it, it takes um, some mental adjustments, I'll say. But it can be done. I'm a natural born leader. Um, um, I don't mind talking um, when it's something I'm passionate about. Um, I don't mind being a leader because I know that's something I was bought here, put here to do. Um, but if you, you know, like I said, if you're an introvert, you do have to make the adjustment. So on to the next question from Hazel. She said, did you feel that the business portion was up to date and useful to what you are currently pursuing now? I'm going to say the business portion is um, is up to date. A lot of the information that they're providing is evergreen information, which means that it can it's, you know, like basics. It's the basics. So you can always use what they are providing to start your health coaching business. And she did ask if I had to invest in external business coaching support. But I did not have to look for any external business coaching support. Oh, you get a lot of what you need from IIN. Also, you offer a separate, they offer separate business coaching support. They have a whole program geared towards like just business outside of, you know, your standard, um, your standard training. So if you want to sign up for that, after your course is complete, you know, you have that option. I did not and will not, I don't need it. What made you decide on IIN as opposed to other similar programs? Um, I think I kind of discussed this in my first video, but it's all good. I'll say it again because I still stick to what I said before. IIN, like, they give you a bit of everything. Um, as opposed to the other courses I looked at is specific to, let's say, plant-based nutrition or um, personal training uh, or, um, you know, gut health or whatever. IIN has, talks about all of that. Talks, it's, it's so, it was so much information um, in that six month course, you're not lacking info and you're more than welcome to go back to it at any given time, even after um, your course is complete. Because like I said earlier, you have um, access to everything for two years. So, um, you know, it's, it's there for you. Excuse me. And did you feel that it was worth the money invested? I do. Excuse me. I do feel it, that it was um, it was worth the investment. Um, so for me, um, as wanting to become a health coach, it was a great investment. And also, of course, I took the information and still taking the information that I learned and applying it to, you know, home in my personal life. So it was absolutely worth the investment and I would do it again. I would definitely do it again. However, what I would do over again is how I paid for it. Um, because they offer a 
um, what do you call it? You can either pay for it in full uh, or make payments. So I made um, payments of $199 every month. I actually still have a little bit to go because, you know, I just finished last year. Um, you can either do that, but they tack interest onto it. So if you can pay for it in full, um, I would do that. I don't remember how much it is in full um, now and I'm not, um, you can just ask, ask them. Um, and I'll also provide some links down below in the description so you can, you know, give them a call or you can email them. I think they also have chat so you can just chat with someone and they'll give you that information also. But um, if I had to do it all over again, I would just pay for it in full. So, um, and she asks, she says, any other information would be greatly appreciated. Um, that is actually all I have now. Um, and if I think of anything else, I'll create a video for you guys. And once again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me an email or ask them down below. Um, I will include my email address um, in the description along with my website. At the moment of me making this video though, my website is temporarily down because I am working on it. I'm creating some, um, doing some revisions because I'm getting ready to do something different. And that's gonna take me a while to make the adjustment on my website because I'm doing it myself. <laughs> So that's all I have for now, you guys. So I will talk to you next video. If you could like, share, subscribe, ask your questions, I would greatly appreciate it. Bye.